Today on Running to Him. We cannot accept sin inside the body of Christ. Today we will read 1 Corinthians chapters 5 through 6 and concentrate on 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 8 through 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 8 through 11 says, On the contrary, you yourselves wrong and defraud. You do this even to your brethren. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. Now, the Corinthian church had some serious issues. One issue was their pride. Another was their tolerance for sin inside the church. And finally, they completely ignored their spiritual sinfulness and considered themselves to be the epitome of holiness. In this part of his letter, Paul puts them in their place. I want to comment on the same issues that are in the church today. The issues of abortion, homosexuality, and transgenderism are at the fore of today's problems for the church. They can loosely be placed in the same bucket, the devaluing of humanity. Abortion denies life and attacks God's first commandment to Adam and Eve, where he tells them to be fruitful and to multiply. Homosexuality and transgenderism reflects God's design for man and woman to be joint partners in their walk with God. Yet, some denominations readily accept these sins into their fellowship. Let me be clear, we are all sinners, and even after being washed, we sin. But the difference between those who have no relationship with Christ and those who do is that those who know Christ are seeking to live in repentance, and those who do not know Christ are seeking to live for themselves. For anyone who has a close relationship with Christ, or at least claims to, and to then accept the world's activities as normal inside the church, runs the risk of having deceived themselves regarding their relationship with Christ. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 23, Jesus is clear about who his disciples are and who are not. Those who keep his word through their changed nature will have eternal rest. For those who have no relationship and do things only in Christ's name, although those activities are good, they will not experience eternal rest. If we accept unrighteousness as the norm, we are like those without a relationship with Christ, but still try to talk a good game. So how can we combat this push towards accepting sin in our churches? First, we must repent. We need to be living a life of repentance. Secondly, we must be willing to be seen by some as narrow-minded. Through living God's principles, people may see us as narrow, unloving, and out of touch with modernity. Finally, we must show our love for those who disagree with us. Just because they disagree doesn't mean we don't serve them as Christ did. Instead, we can gently love them as Christ loved us and loves us now when we are out of fellowship with him. Seeing people as valuable does not mean we agree with their actions. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.